Hi. So now let us see another class in the select uh, statement that is order by class. Okay. So this is very simple order by as name implies. So sometimes it is required that data you want to see in a specific order. So only two orders that is either in a ascending order or in descending order. So uh, whenever this kind of requirement is there, so that facility is there actually in the SQL. So that is with this order by clause. So order by keyword, we are using for sorting the result set. Actually, um, that is what, even in the, whenever we are discussing the initial discussion, that is select statement, order by clause is going to work at the end actually. That is what, because result set, after rows are filtered, after columns are filtered, everything is finalized. Only final data is there which you want to display. Upon that, it is going to work actually. Upon that data, basing on your requirement, either in ascending order or in descending order, data is going to display. So by default, actually, it is a ascending order. If you don't mention in which order you want to display, that will consider as ascending order actually. And uh, to sort the records in the descending order, suppose if you need in the descending order, use the keyword DESC, that's it. So, so now you want to display the data in an ascending order or a descending order. So what is the uh, syntax actually? So that is very simple. As usually from clause, uh, select clause and from clause, when you come to the order by clause, after that you can write down what are all columns you want to display in a specific order. You mention them. At the end, ASC means ascending order, DESC means descending order, any one actually. If you don't mention, that is by default is this one. If you need in descending order, you have to mention DESC actually, okay? So let us see one simple example so that it will become uh, familiar. So list the employee names in the ascending order actually. So we want to display the data in an ascending order. So employee names especially. So as usually, first thing is what select the data, select what we need employee names, e name. So we are going to take e name from which table EMP. This is normal previous discussion only. Now we are going to apply order by. So order by. Then which column you want to uh, display in ascending order? That is what in E name. So I can close here like this, terminate this statement, or you can write down ASC. Anything is fine because by default it is in ascending order, right? So now what is the result? This column, this column, E name column is going to display in an ascending order, alphabetical order actually. So that you can see the result. So here you see Adams is the first one, then Ellen, Blake, Clark. So all these are in an ascending order actually. You can observe that, okay? So this is simple. Actually, you mentioned only one column actually. People will have a confusion whenever you have more than one column in the order by clause. And one more thing you have to observe, in the select clause, whatever columns are there, those columns only must exist in the order by class, anyone or more than one. Because the columns which are not there in the select class, if you have here, that is not meaningful, right? So whatever data you are displaying, whatever attributes data you are displaying, only those attributes must exist in the order by class. Okay, so that is one thing you must understand. And after that, now, if you have more than one column in an order by clause, how data is going to display? So that is very important understanding. So let us go for that. So here, uh, actually here, we are going to display not the employee names. We are going to display job and MGR. So we need both of them in the ascending order. So for that, what we'll write down first of all statement, select, select job emgr this is fine mgr from emp 
very importantly come to order by clause order by okay now so i am writing here job comma mgr so by default ascending order so what is going to happen observe that you return first job and then mgr so first it will consider job in the job ascending order who will be the first analyst so here one analyst so let us take another color so here analyst there here analyst there and here analyst there and uh, mgr 7566 so since both of them have the same value will both actually two records first will come after analyst who is the next clerk actually clerk you see here you will get the clarity here three clerks are there so these three clerks and then you see in case of mgr four different values actually so these four after this is sorted these four are in a sorted order so if you see the output then you will get the clarity of course these two fine you come here whenever these are same next you are going sort for these actually so the first priority for the sorting is this one whenever they are same and then they are going for sorting next actually is it clear or not so that you can see 7698 first Double seven eight two next, then double eight, and then seven nine zero two is the next. And of course, here manager and here uh, MGR is same. Of course, this is fine president, and here is same. So you will get the clarity from the clerk part actually. So in which order you mentioned, the first column have the high priority. So basing on this, it will sort first. If anywhere equal is there, then wherever equal part is there. in the second attribute those those values it is going to sort again in the ascending order so this is what actually uh, going to happen whenever you have more than one column so this is very very important understanding the same thing if you need in the descending order you just apply dsc then in the reverse order it is going to come so that is what actually if you understand ascending descending is simple so in this way if you want to display any data in a specific order you can use the clause order by okay 